All right, welcome brewers and lab nerds. Today I'm going to show you how to use PGA to increase your head retention in the beer. Uh, PGA stands for propylene glycol alginate and it's derived from kelp and it's used in a lot of kitchens to thicken sauces and other things. And uh, a lot of breweries use it. I have one here. You're going to use it at a rate of 4 to 8 grams per hectoliter, which equals out to 40 to 80 parts per million. For a home brewer, that's going to be about, uh, what is it, 0.8 to 1.6 grams per 5 gallon. All right, so I already have it measured out here. What you're going to see is the problem you'll have as a home brewer is that you also need some device to that has a lot of shear force. So I'm using my Vitamix and to be able to mix the PGA with liquid, you need to have a certain amount of liquid to get above the blades. And for me, I actually need the amount of liquid that would constitute 15 gallons of beer. So anytime I do this, it's for either a large batch or I have to make it for 15 gallons and then throw away two thirds if I'm really just using uh, five gallons that day. And the procedures is that you want to use, first you figure out how much uh, PGA you want. So again, uh, it's going to be that 40 to 80 parts per million with an absolute max of 100 parts per million. So let's say you go for that uh, 80 parts per million, which was 1.6 grams per 5 gallons. So that's about 4.8 grams per 15 liters. You take that and you divide it by 20 grams to figure out how many liters of water you need to dissolve it in. And the reason for that is that the recommended procedure is to have 20 grams of PGA per liter. So if you did the math on how much you needed and you needed 30 grams, you took the 30 divided by 20, end up with one and a half liters is how much you want to mix it with. In my case, it is, uh, let's say, call it five grams to make it easy, divided by 20, and it ends up in 0.25 uh, liters or 250 grams or milliliters of water. The water should be between 30 and 40 degrees Celsius. I'm going to shoot for 40 because as the um, Vitamix runs, it's going to slowly lose some heat. So to keep it between that 40, 30 and 40 degrees Celsius, uh, I'm going to stick with the original starting temperature of 40. And the water you use is going to be pre-boiled water and then cooled down to 40. This PGA goes in after any filtration, after any other additions like uh, gelatin. This is the absolute last thing you put into the beer before it gets bottled. Also, it's very sensitive to any shear force after it's been mixed with the uh, beer. It's going to gum up if you have any shear force, so you can't use any pumps. It has to be all pressure or gravity after um, you add this to the beer. So anyway, what we're going to do here is first measure out, I need 250 milliliters of water, which is the same as 250 grams. So we'll get that zeroed out here on the scale. Weigh out 250 grams. Let's see. All right, that's pretty close there. All right, we'll add the PGA, which is already measured out, 4.8 grams. Actually, I went for 5 grams. All right, now we're going to let that run for 30 minutes to 60 minutes. It sort of de depends on the procedures that you find work best for your brewery. All right, let's start it up. You also want to have it run at 1500 uh, RPM. So uh, figure out what that setting would be for your blender. For me, it's going to be setting number one. And I'm going to leave it for 30 minutes and then come back. We're now back approximately 30 minutes later. 
And what we have left to do now is to filter it. So depending on how large of a batch you use, you gotta figure out the best filtering system for you. So since this is just a homebrew scale I'm showing you right now, I'm just gonna use a coffee filter inside of a, um, what's it called, coliander. And um, then just pour it in. Before you pour it, you wanna see that you're still in the same temperature range that you're supposed to be. The colder it gets, the more viscous it gets and the harder it gets to, uh, to um, filter it by using just gravity. So you take a temperature measure, make sure it's, like I said, between 30 and 40, 40 is better. If it's not there, put it in a microwave safe container that's of course been sanitized, heat it up to 40 before you go ahead and filter it. So I'll pour this in and then once it is uh, fully filtered, I will pour it into the beer, then um, purge out any oxygen with uh, some bursts of CO2. Once I have no oxygen in there, I'll shake it up, get it blended, but again using no pumps after that. Just shake it very well, get a good blend, or you put it into a keg before you rack your beer on top of it. And uh, from there, you are ready to uh, go ahead and bottle your beer. And that's really it for the procedures. As far as storing, you wanna store it between five and 15 degrees Celsius. And uh, you have a shelf life of about one year with PGA. And that's it. Try to explore, try some different combinations of uh, 40 parts per million all the way up to 100 parts per million and see what works best for you. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. That's it. Cheers.